Hello and welcome to uh, today's video in which we're going to talk about the predecessor of the of TR Portal, which is the Semantic Manager, and how to get a Semantic Manager project into TR Portal, which is called Migration. This might be important uh, in the future for more and more because people slowly, not just slowly, but uh, people have to adapt to the new system, which is TR Portal. Just one info what a lot of people get wrong, both of those are so-called step seven. Step seven is um, the basis that they both work with. Step seven is actually originated from the German word, uh, or it is a German abbreviation, which means Steuerungen einfach programmieren. Uh, and translated, that is uh, program easy programming of controllers. Um, so they both do that. They both have step seven as the uh, as their like ground level. Um, they are just new interfaces to it. Right? Different interfaces, uh, different not new interfaces. They are different interfaces to do that. So, uh, but they're ba both basically the ground level. They're doing the same thing. Of course, Tier Portal does more and everything. Um, but that's not the topic right now. Topic is how to get projects from Semantic Manager to Tia Portal because there are some limitations and um, some things we have to um, look at. So I've got Semantic Manager on the left side open here and my Tia Portal on the right side. And instead of creating a new project in my Tia Portal, I want to migrate a project. You can see I already have something open here in my Semantic Manager. It's got one PLC. This PLC. Um, has some hardware and this PLC also has a little bit of a program in here. Right? Some program just I00 to Q00. Right? That's it. So what we need to do is we need to migrate the project. To be able to migrate the project, you will need two things installed on your PC. You will need Semantic Manager right? and you will need Tier Portal. You need both on the same PC to be able to do it. But here's the thing, for Semantic Manager, you do not need a license. You just need the software on your uh, PC installed. That's it, nothing more. Of course, I've got a license here and everything, but you don't need it. And you don't need to have Semantic Manager open. It could be closed, right? But you need it on the machine. <clears throat> so I will choose here in my migration, I can choose select project to be migrated. I can search for it and I have saved it here on my desktop and I saved it in YouTube manager to portal and there it is. This is the project folder and there we have manager S7P S7 project. Clicking open and uh, Tia portal automatically decides, hey, this is uh, how I'm going to save it with this name and this is the path. It automatically chooses, you could choose a different path. Um, yeah, there's one checkbox that says include hardware configuration. Um, I will do it now without including it. So let's see what happens. I can click migrate. This migration might take some time depending on your program, depending on how much hardware you have in there. Migration completed with warnings. So let's see, let's uh, make this tier portal here a little big. There we have in general, I have migration completed with warnings. I can double click or click on the little green arrow and it actually says Hardware configuration, the device Semantic 301 has been replaced by an unspecified CPU. Please specify this CPU. This happens because I left this checkbox, this um, hardware configuration unchecked. So if I go in here now on my left side, I go to device configuration. I have basically um, just the blueprint of an S7 300. I would now need to choose the correct hardware. We'll do that in a moment. Let's just check the program first. In the program, we actually have it, like we had it in the Semantic Manager. Um, the only difference here, in Semantic Manager, we just had the addresses. In Tier Portal, now we have the tag as well. Tags are automatically um, created if they do not exist yet in Semantic Manager. Right? In my tag table here, I have two new tags called tag one, tag two. Of course, no automatic naming, but that's how it is. If you already have tags in um, Semantic Manager or symbols, as they are called there, um, the uh, new tag table will be created when you are migrating. And this tag table will say uh, classic S7 symbols, right? but they will be here. So, yeah, 
Um, what we would need to do now is to choose the correct hardware here. I can go there and I could either now migrate to an S7 1500, which is of course recommended because 300s are not the best CPUs anymore, or I can just replace it with another type that is here in TR Portal. I can just drag and drop. I drop it here. It asks me, hey, do you want to do this? This is stuff. This is stuff that's happening. That's just assigning another PLC to it. Because, well, we didn't import it. So second scenario, let's close this project. I do not want to save it, but I actually want to delete it because it's annoying. So the next scenario is, let's do it here. We can either migrate in portal view with migrate project or in project view, project migrate. And there I have to choose the project again and I choose the same project. And this time I will include the hardware configuration include hardware configuration and migrate. So this will take now again a couple of seconds, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, here, done. My PC is pretty fast. The project is pretty small. Migration completed successfully, right? No warnings, nothing at all, right? And now this is here in TR Portal. That's how I call the PLC in um, Semantic Manager. And if I go to the hardware configuration, it is in here, right? It is in there. That's it. <clears throat> Everything else is also there. So the only difference that we now have with the checkbox, the checkbox activates the um, the hardware configuration migration. So now the question, why do we actually have that strange checkbox? That strange checkbox um, exists because, and here it is, the information everyone's been waiting for, um, because hardware that has not PLCs that have and and of course i owe modules and stuff like this that have not been produced or that have been cancelled before the first of november 2008 that's already 12 years ago right almost 12 years ago first of november 2008 i think or seven eight or seven i i 2000 something 2007 eight um everything that has not been produced from then on is not in TR Portal. The hardware is not in TR Portal. Everything that has been produced prior to that date and is still being produced after it is in TR Portal. Everything that's been cancelled earlier, not in TR Portal. Right? This is why some hardware we do not have in TR Portal. So uh, let me add a new um, S7300 in my little project here. Um, I, in my Semantic Manager, I will choose one that has been cancelled before 2008, right? Before the date, I will choose this. I think those have all been cancelled before the CPU 313. I will put it in my project, right? Now it's in my Semantic Manager project. So if I now try to import it, right? I try to migrate it. I will migrate the project. I will choose the project that we had. And I will now include the hardware configuration. I will migrate. Migration is taking place, it's taking place. Here we go, a little bit. And you see many, many errors. Right? Many errors, uh, well, it looks like many, but it's actually just one error. And it says module CPU 313, blah, 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 in rec zero slot two cannot be migrated. The module is not supported. Because it's so old, TR Portal does not support it anymore. This is also the main reason why I still have Semantic Manager and why you should also have Semantic, uh, Semantic Manager. That's the only reason for me because not all new comp uh, not all old components are supported by tier portal which makes sense if you think hey this is a future oriented tool so what do we need to do to actually get this here into tier portal uh, i will just do the migration again sorry the migration again and this time i will not make put the checkbox so i will exclude the hardware configuration i won't import the hardware configuration so if i do this right do, do, do the arrow one thing is, warnings that you see are still from the earlier try migration completed with warnings and there we have um now the cpu 313 that was not available earlier and now it is this unspecified thing so we would have to either migrate it to a 1500 or choose another 300 that's suitable but also the other one here, the one that exists in TR Portal, as we did not put the checkbox, is also unspecified, right? So that's the that's the main thing. Um, yeah.
So if you have old hardware produced cancelled before 2008, um, you can't get it into Tier Portal. Maybe with a GSD or something, but usually it's just not supported. That's why you have Semantic Manager. Good. So I've been talking 10 minutes um, just on the migration part here. I hope this helps a little bit. Of course, there's more limitations. There's more limitations, but this is the general migration. And this is the general migration. Um, and it works from uh, tier, from, from Semantic Manager to Tier Portal, any Tier Portal version. It works. Right? I did it here with version 15.1. It also works with the other ones. So if this helped a little bit, uh, leave a like. Do not forget to subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs> and thanks for watching.